So, time. In this hour, it seems like we got a bit of it. Now, maybe it's a good thing because we've been running around, the hustle and bustle of life has kept us preoccupied with doing everything and anything. But now we got some time on our hands. And, well, that could be good or that could be bad. My heart is that each of us would recognize that if we use our time wisely, well, we can be productive. But if we use our time foolishly, well, we can live with a lot of regret. In Romans chapter 2, there's this dichotomy, this, this antithesis of the battle between what your flesh wants to do and what your spirit wants to do. In fact, you see that theme throughout the book of Romans. But in Romans 2, it talks about God's judgment. And there's this point where he says, look, if you pursue me, you know, you're pursuing righteousness and immortality, you'll be blessed. But if you go after self, selfishness and the desires of the flesh, well, it's not going to go well for you. And then there are those who maybe haven't even heard the gospel, but their conscience is, they're either accusing them or defending them, that the law's written on their hearts. And then Paul says these words in Romans 2.16, and for me, this is the hinge point of the chapter, just like Romans 1.16 was. This will take place on the day when God will judge men's secrets through Jesus Christ as my gospel declares. Wow, that means if we got time on our hands and we're doing things we shouldn't be doing, if we're going back to the old ways because you know we don't know what to do. Uh, there's a saying that says, you know, uh, idle hands are the devil's playground. We need to be careful with making sure that we stay accountable in a season like this. Maybe you're not going to God's house and worshiping with his people. You're not in your small group. You're connecting via the internet, I get that, but maybe there's just this disconnect that you feel like you can maybe do some of the things you used to that God's delivered you from. You know what, God said, even if it's done in a secret place, he is going to reveal it. And I'm encouraging each one of us today to use our time wisely, invest in ourselves, read the word of God. This is Romans chapter two, last Thursday, I said we should read Romans. On Saturday, I talked about Romans one. And now, this is Tuesday, you're hearing about Romans chapter two. Just, you don't have to go fast, just read it, take it in, analyze it, pray over it, and let it minister to your soul. Time. I know that uh, a band I liked in, liked in the 70s was Styx, and they said they had too much time on their hands. Well, if we got this time allotted to us to put the brakes on during this unique season of living, let's use our time to honor God. And remember, this isn't a season where we can get away with things. It's a season where we should be growing with Christ. I love you, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Spiritual hug, spiritual kiss. Love you.